Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense MND, tracked 27 Chinese military aircraft and four naval vessels around the country, including multiple planes that crossed the Taiwan Strait. The MND said that 27 People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF, military aircraft and four People's Liberation Army Navy PLAN, vessels have been tracked around Taiwan. The aircraft included four Chengdu J-10 jet fighters, one CASC Rainbow CH-4 reconnaissance drone, four Shenyang J-16 fighter jets, one Shaanxi Y-8 anti-submarine warfare AS Li plane, and one Harbin BZK-005 reconnaissance drone. Nine of the fighter jets and CH-4 drone crossed the median line for multiple locations, while the I-8 ASO aircraft and BZK-005 drone circled in the southwest corner of Taiwan's air defense identification zone to the northeast of the Dongsha Islands. The MND said that it responded by scrambling combat patrol aircraft, issuing radio warnings, and deploying air defense missile systems. Taiwan again tracks 18 Chinese military aircraft, 14 naval ships around nation. The Ministry of National Defense MND, tracked 18 Chinese military aircraft and 14 naval vessels around Taiwan. Of the 18 People's Liberation Army PLA aircraft, 13 were tracked in Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone ADIZ, according to the MND. No PLA aircraft crossed the Taiwan Strait Median Line during that time. Four Chengdu J-10 combat jets, four Shenyang J-16 fighter jets, two Xin H-6 bombers, one Shaanxi Mu-9 aircraft, one Shaanxi Y-8 anti-submarine warfare plane, and one KJ-500 airborne early warning and control plane entered the southwest corner of Taiwan's ADIZ. In response, Taiwan sent aircraft and naval ships and used land-based missile systems to monitor PLA activity. So for this month, Beijing has sent 190 military aircraft and 99 naval ship sorties around Taiwan. Since September 2020, China has increased its use of gray zone tactics by incrementally increasing the number of military aircraft and naval ships operating around Taiwan. Gray zone tactics are defined as an effort or series of efforts beyond steady state deterrence and assurance that attempts to achieve one's security objectives without resort to direct and sizable use of force.